So we all know how much everyone likes my dad, and I super wasn't planning on making a video today, but um, apparently he got a special delivery, and I think this video may or may not be uh, pretty entertaining. So basically, if you could see here, we got some, uh, we got some new wheels. I think it's going to look a lot different. It literally, they were so big, they came on this little freight thing. And in order for them to drop it off, literally a semi came because the website that he ordered them from, they mount and balance them at like wherever, at, it's like custom offsets I think is the company. So they'll mount and balance it, put the tires on the wheel, and then send it to you. Already assembled, ready to go. It's pretty cool. Honestly, they might be too big. Don't know. All right, lift this thing up, even though we're on a hill. This is sketchy. Are the wheels off the ground? Hopefully the things come off. We need more juice! Need more air! We need more juice. Hey yo! Alright, where's the beef at? How do we know which one goes where? It doesn't matter, right? No, get this one. Get this one right here. Oh my god. Wait, where's the lug nuts? Oh, right here. Wait, wait, let's get a size comparison. Let's put it over here. How much bigger is it actually? Holy. How much bigger is that? Oh my god. Perfect. The freaking beef is on. But it's still on the jack, so it's kind of lifted up. It's kind of hard to see. All right, we're going to throw in the other ones, then throw in the back ones, and I think it's going to look freaking sick. This is going to look so sick when it's done. If you have, I think this is the 2006 Tundra, so if you have a Tundra, I'm going to get my dad to tell me the specs. When he's, wait, can I get the specs right now? Do you remember? Or no? Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I didn't look. No, what size are the wheels? I was on the floor. No, what size are the wheels? 17s. 17 by what though? 9? 17 by 9. 17 by 9. What size is the tire? 285.70 R18. And the R17. offset? I don't even know what I said, but what's the offset? Negative 12? Well, That's what I need. I need a negative 12 offset. We need more juice! Okay, I'll turn it up. I'm turning up the heat. We need more juice. Turn up the heat, Dad. We got more juice? Perfect. Mm. Oh! Mm. Hey, yo! Honestly, we have so much positive camera right now, it's not safe. We're definitely gonna need an alignment in the front because we got some positive camber going on. But as far as the wheels being on, they look freaking dope right now. Check it out. Boom, boom. Looking way better than before. And my mom actually drives this truck, so she's gonna look pretty dope. Looks so much better with perfect fitment. This is better fitment than my car. A little bit of poke because it's the truck. Oh my god, it looks so good. Like, that's truck fitment right there, proper, with that negative 12 offset. Looks so good. Are we going for a drive, Dad? Dad? Without me? Are we going for a drive? Going. Okay, let's go. We're about to test these things out. Maybe go off road? My dad also put this thing in, and I think he has new door speakers, tweeters, and possibly, I'm pretty sure it's a seven inch subwoofer under the seat. I think he got inspired by uh, by the Subaru build, so I needed to mod his car. Gotta like, jump out of this thing now. Okay. Also just put those things on too. Doesn't rub. Definitely got some meat. All right, go. <laughs> Off-roading or what? Uh, 
see how close it is. We might need to take this thing off. So obviously we're not running into any rub issues in the back. It's freaking perfect. But if we're gonna have rub, it's most likely gonna come in the front. And I think the only thing it's hitting is this. We can see how close we are. So I'm saying we just take this thing off and I think we're good. What? Do we need air? You didn't do air? I didn't do air, it didn't come on. We're taking that thing off. Well, the freaking, the beef castle is done. I think the rear looks so good. Jeez. Fun fact, I had no idea that Tundras are actually six lug, or at least the four by four ones, I'm not really sure. Um, I had no idea, and also, like big old diesel truck there was like eight lug and I don't even know there was that many different kind of varieties. But uh, we had to end up taking off the little mud flaps uh, because it's there was some slight rubbage. But it's really when we only come on our driveway and you're at like a super like hard angle and it starts rubbing. Um, but basically I think I'm gonna have to do a little shaving, maybe take off this plastic. I'm not really sure, we might have gone a little too far but I think it looks good. Low key, best part about this is I used this truck to drop off my uh, my EJ25 to school. And now, when it's all finished, I'm gonna take this truck to pick it up. And it's freaking like, looks freaking dope. It does have a, a two inch leveling kit in the front. Um, so if you have like this year Tundra and you put these size tires on and it doesn't fit, it's because this one is technically like lifted, but it's really just like a two inch leveling kit in the front. So that's why it looks even. Cause normally the trucks are kind of like slanted forward. So when you like put stuff in the back, it kind of evens out, you know what I mean? And also uh, today I'm ordering my first part for the engine build. It's for the head, that's the only hint I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna do a full unboxing and then install of course in the near future. And then I also have a couple reviews lined up and then I also my boy with a wagon that's bagged and flared. Hopefully gonna meet up with him soon. So a bunch of good videos coming soon. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace out.